Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly. Today I want to take another look at beta software. Um, today's software is a fast prototyping software from a company called, I guess, UIZARD. Um, they were nice enough to give us some access to a beta. So the idea is that you can do hand sketches um, like this. I have this little whiteboard tablet on my desk. I sketched out a little wireframe for phone um, using this markup that they, they indicate. My, my marker actually ran out halfway through, so I had to switch to another. So that'll be a good test. Can it handle two colors? Um, I used this little sketching guide that they have to sh indicate like what symbols to draw for the import. So then what it's supposed to do is take a sketch like this guy's and turn it into a nice comp, um, a prototype. That, so yeah, like this sketch goes to this um, design and, and you can actually then export it into the sketch program. It'd be nice if you could do Figma at some point too. I think it's just sketch for now. Um, and then it allows more, like you can actually spit out some front end code and receive comments. So it's supposed to me be meant for rapid prototyping of ideas, sort of that, um, oh, lean startup idea, right? Make a bunch of quick, small tests, iterate, find something that works. Um, so anyway, um, I'm logged in. Looks like Rob was messing around in here. <laughs> Socks for YouTube users. So that was Rob's test. Um, so I'm going to create a new prototype. Uh, we need to name it. Okay. I'll call it uh, Shoes for YouTube users. Okay. Then I can choose a color theme like grayscale, warm, blue, whatever. Um, let's try blue. And I could choose desktop if I want. I'm gonna go with mobile because that's how my sketch was. Okay, we've got the prototype. We need to actually upload the image. So let's see how it does. So I'll try to have the software ingest my little sketch. Uh, and we'll see how long it takes. I'll do this in real time so you have an idea uh, for this one sketch. I took the picture on my iPhone. Um, so it's not, the resolution is not that high. Looks like it's going to take on my pretty slow connection, about 30 seconds, not too bad. So here we go. Um, here's my sketch, and that's what came in. For the most part, I think it's spot on. Uh, you know, this, this is meant to indicate like a logo or image, hamburger nav, button, image. They're all there. Uh, I even got these three images on the right. I kind of thought that would fail. Interestingly enough, the... The radio buttons, it got them all, but it puts an input field here. I'm not really sure why that didn't just do dummy text. But as you can see, it it seems fairly accurate. And then once you've got it in, uh, you got a, a left sidebar here. And I have to be clear, I have not completely explored this, so it won't do justice, I'm sure, to what's possible. But you can click on the different elements and fiddle with them. Like this has a height of 90. Let's try, you know. 120, you can see you can start to manipulate it, um, choose whether or not you want it full width, change the content. You know, I could I could put a different image in there. Um, and so we can go through and the theory is quickly get a wireframe, so to speak, that can then be used to validate some ideas quickly before say going to a high fidelity design. Um, however, like I said, it can spit out code. Now, today it seems to be having trouble. I don't know why. I, I did fiddle with this the other day, and it wrote some nice HTML uh, markup. So, But like I said, it is beta. It looks like you can get some React, Vue, or Angular code as well. You can choose your indentation as tabs or spaces in the markup. So some pretty cool stuff. Um, Looks like it's having a little trouble today. Um, people can leave comments, it looks like, on the prototypes. Uh, you can actually get a mock-up in a device, export that or share it. Um, it looks like it supports some degree of interactivity. I'm not sure how much. Uh, yeah, so, but in general, I wanted to see, you to see this concept, which is really interesting. Um, and then, you know, like I said, you can click on the different elements, like I could add more copy here.
and we could adjust the layouts. It looks like it supports some sort of like a flex styling um, for these elements. So yeah, pretty neat idea. Please consider subscribing if you're interested in content like this. And we're always happy to try out more cool software. All right, thanks.